Ms. Horn is recognized to speak on the, this amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your indulgence tonight. And I know the hour is late, so I will be brief. As a member of the Charleston delegation, I would like to express to you how important it is that we not amend this bill. And the reason we need not amend this bill at this time is because if we amend the bill in any form or fashion, it is going to a conference committee. It is not going to end quickly. We are going to be doing this all summer long. Let me tell you, I attended the funeral of Senator Clemente Pinckney, and the people of Charleston deserve immediate and swift removal of that flag from this grounds. We can save for another day where this flag needs to go, where the which flag needs to fly, or where it needs to fly, or what museum it needs to be in. But the immediate issue, as far as I'm concerned, as a member of the Charleston delegation and speaking on behalf of the people in Charleston, this flag offends my friend Mia McLeod, my friend John King, my friend Reverend Neal. <laughs> I cannot believe that we do not have the heart in this body to do something meaningful, such as take a symbol of hate off these grounds on Friday. And if any of you vote to amend, you are ensuring that this flag will fly beyond Friday. And for the widow of Senator Pinckney and his two young daughters, that would be adding insult to injury. And I will not be a part of it. And for all of these reasons, I will not vote to amend this bill today. We may visit this another session, another year, but if we amend this bill, we are telling the people of Charleston, we don't care about you. We do not care that someone use this symbol of hate to slay eight innocent people who are worshiping their God. I'm sorry, I have heard enough about heritage. I have a heritage. I am a lifelong South Carolinian. I am a descendant of Jefferson Davis, okay? But that does not matter. It's not about Jenny Horn. It's about the people of South Carolina who have demanded that this symbol of hate come off of the State House grounds. And I will tell you, I do know and I have it on good authority that the world is watching this debate. And there is an economic development prospect in Dorchester County that is in jeopardy because we refuse to act. We need to follow the example of the Senate, remove this flag and do it today because this issue is not getting any better with age. Thank you. Judge Cleary, for what purpose do you rise? Move, Judge Cleary moves to table Amendment 66. Judge Cleary moves to table 66. Mr. Smith requests roll call, nine members second. Nine members do. Roll call is required. Vote on the board's order. 